Hello everyone, how is it going out there? This is Kremo from Emotionless Crypto Trading and today we're going to have another update around the ICO spreadsheet. We've got 12 new ICOs added to the spreadsheet. Now we're just going to push towards and push while the market is not really representing that good details out there. It's not really the environment we're looking after and the numbers are not really coming together as we were expecting but still the ICO industry is continuing towards and the projects are advancing right so we have 12 new ICOs added to the spreadsheet if you're ready we can get started just a couple of words before that market cap 430 billion volume below 20 billion and the BTC dominance is sitting around 38.5 percentage right that means the altcoin industry the altcoin market is bleeding more than the btc as we do remember a couple of weeks ago btc dominance was way way lower right so that's also something to consider in regards with all these icos which are having a difficult time to collect funds as of right now in a market like this going towards let's get started 12 new icos listed on the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is called Scrambles Emotionless ICO Analysis. For those of you which are new, I'm going to make a quick introduction. What we have here, we have eight aspects basically that we're reviewing, right? We're not actually reviewing here, we're just sharing the rating system. The review happens behind the scene, underground, should I say. That's where we review all these things and then we share the rating system, which is from zero to five. And then every single aspect basically has a rating system, which adds up for a total rating system that's falling in a category uh, based on the score achieved, right? So for example, the most popular category is based between 36 and 33, which is called good, right? And it's you know having this color. Now it's quite simple to understand the way it works and we didn't make it complicated at all. Now on the other side, we don't use any sort of affiliate link or anything such, right? So whatever hyperlink you click from here, no matter what ICO we're talking about, there is no affiliate link included, which mentions it over here on the right side. There's something else that you definitely wanna consider is from here, from these two stars, from there upwards, we are updating the spreadsheet basically with new ICOs since the last round and the last video because with every single update I'm putting out a video presentation talking about it and sharing a couple of ideas in a nutshell very very quickly uh, having an overview about what we have done here right and there is another thing that needs to be uh, kept in consideration is the participate in any ICO tab that we're having here which clearly represents the ability for people which are restricted by their country to participate in an ICO through our service, which is basically represented here, as I've mentioned. Make sure you look at that if you think it's useful for you. Now on the other side, let's talk about how it works. So we just spoke about those eight elements, or I should not call them elements, as the elements that we're considering for all this aspects for all these categories like background team white paper roadmap problem and solution marketing token economics market the ones basically are rated right here include 59 elements as we just spoke in all of the videos so far and you can also use them this is basically the way we do our review and rating system this is what we keep in consideration to rate all this ICOs we're talking about. That's why it's kind of taking us a couple of days, usually between two to four days, and even up to six days uh, to get the full responses. Now, sometimes we're not getting all the responses from the uh, ICO developers or support and so on to all of our questions in time, right? And we do have the rights to update the rating system if some of the responses came out later on after we just published the ICO in the spreadsheet, right? So don't be worried about updates. The updates might be positive or negative in any sort of direction for any of the presented ICOs on the spreadsheet. Now let's talk about the first one updated, which is going to be ICO pass. KIC verification is the type. And from what can I see, the highest score basically is in the background 
of the project with the lowest one in the token economics. Right, number four, having a tool of 32.7, which places them in the average category. Now, ICO Pass is not really sharing at the moment their ICO date or if there's going to be any pre sale or anything such. We don't know exactly all these details of the date, right? So we have to be up on their Telegram in order to find out about it if you would like to participate. They're taking care of this KIC process. Uh, easiest way to do KIC checks, basically. You can definitely do your own research about it. Right here, we're just talking in a nutshell about each of those and sharing a couple of words. Right, so Sandblock is the second one. Uh, commerce and advertising, uh, 4.3 marketing score, the highest one, and the smallest rated is in the white paper, 3.8, having a total of 32.2, placing them in the same category like ICO uh, Pass, which is you know average. Now, Sandblock is located over here, and it's kind of starting in about three days and 19 hours. Uh, since the time of making this video presentation, we're talking about a pre sale which starts at that time. Of course, you definitely want to be re registered and to keep yourself informed around the updates which are coming out in order to participate. The KIC process needs to be done and all these things needs to happen before you can do it, right? So it's the same like for any other ICO out there. Nowadays, everyone needs a KIC process. Uh, make sure you do your own research about it and you know what it's all about, right? You're not going to be uh, one of those guys buying into a token having no idea because one of the advisors or one of the reviewers or rating person shares a good rating about it. Make sure you know what you're doing because these guys know what they're doing. Sandblock enables businesses to convert loyalty points, coupons, and vouchers into crypto assets. They become tradable and have a real market value. Now that's kind of uh, sandblock in a nutshell. Going forward, oops, uh, cryptic. If that's the right way to say this, guys, hybrid blockchain uh, through 3.8 problem and solution, which is the highest rating they have achieved, and number three for marketing having a total of 28.1, placing them in the poor category, the lowest rated ICO from the current update. Right, they're right here, and you can participate. Uh, they're mentioning and they're claiming to be a hybrid blockchain for enterprise security. Right, so join the crypto uh, sale right now. This is the button, and it drives you basically right to this page where you can also find out more about as the pre-sale round is now open and it ends in about 27 days. Make sure the minimum investment is $25,000 in case you would like to participate. Now going back to the main page, uh, you know, they take care about it, storage, uh, security, uh, what else, sharing and all these things around the hybrid blockchain for enterprise decentralized cloud storage with blockchain auditing. Uh, you definitely want to do your own research about it. They were not really able to achieve kind of an average nor a good, a very good, excellent score. They're pretty far away from that, uh, just likely in the poor category. Now, something else that you definitely want to consider is uh, the more ICOs we are rating, the higher the bar is going to be raised as the market is raising the bar by itself. Therefore, we do have to keep up with that. Right, so it's not going to be the same in six months from now. We're going to have uh, even more, and we're going to be a lot more careful about the rating system we're putting out as the bar of the market, the level of the market is raising, and they have to convince us a lot, you know, more efficiently and credible. Right, so it needs to happen in that way. Otherwise, we're just going to give them average good or poor scores or even lower if it's necessary. And it's gonna be harder and harder to be placed in the very good and excellent category. I mean, in today's update, we don't have any there. Any of the ICOs are not, you know, place it in the very good or excellent. The maximum they were able to achieve uh, is just good category, right? So going towards talking about time box. Um, oops, we just forget about one. 
Actually, two have missed right here. True game is the next one. Gambling industry. Having the highest score for the background, 4.5. And the smallest one for 4.1 token economics, right? Placing them were 33.9 in the good category. Now, true game is right here. And their private sale starts on March 4th. In order to participate, you definitely want to join a whitelist, right? You want to make sure the research process is something you want to go through. And they're claiming to be the blockchain based games of chance, right? Uh, quite interesting what they're mentioning all about it as uh, they're claiming to be the first ICO fully working iGaming project that received positive feedback from professional community. Right, so that's quite interesting. Now, the research process, I'm sure it's going to take you quite a few days in order to find out a lot of the responses to your questions after you're going through the websites. I've also mentioned in all my videos that you need to be up in their Telegram groups because this is where a lot of things are happening in the ISO industry, as well as it's good to have questions after you're going through the uh, website, white paper, and not just do two things. Make sure you go through all these 59 elements that we're putting out here. And it's something that we're doing in order to make sure that the rating system is as accurate as possible from our perspective. Going towards CryptoFlix, pretty interesting. Having the highest score, 4.4 for the background as well as 4.4 for the white paper and the same for problem and solution. And the uh, lowest one, smallest one, 4.1 for token economics. 34.3 is placing them in the good category. About film streaming, this is where they are located. Um, I'm just going to click on their official website for some reasons. I was in the bottom right here. Uh, what you want to do basically on April uh, 15 is going to be their per ICO date up to May 15. Right, so we don't know yet about the pre sale if there's going to be any sort of a pre sale, but you definitely want to make sure about that by checking their Telegram if there's going to be any, right? Because that's where they made all these announcements. Watch movies, fun films, get cryptos, repeat. Movies, streaming, and film funding platform powered by blockchain, CryptoFlix, when Hollywood meets crypto. Very, very interesting. The research process was enthusiastic around this one as it was kind of, <clears throat> I'm sorry, as it was something kind of very new for our industry and there's not much competition around this one, right? So going towards Timebox, decentralized custody service, 4.5 for the team, which is the highest score. And then the smallest one comes around token economics as well as for the marketing. Having them a total of 33.8, you can see how many of these ICOs are placed in the good category. Now, something else that I wanted to respond as I am getting a lot of questions on my emails, basically, uh, which you can also use right here, request a review. We've got our email if you want to contact us and ask us any sort of questions. I um, keep getting the question that, is it just good to invest in the ones which are placed in the very good and excellent category? Or is it also good to invest in the ones from the good or average or poor category? Now, first things first, we don't share any sort of investment or financial advice. So those questions uh, are the ones we cannot respond. In the same time, there is no rule or there's nothing in stone that would say a project which is getting a rating system of very good is gonna have a higher return of your investment than something placed in the average category, right? So make sure you're aware about things like this because it happened in the past and it's gonna happen in the future. And I'm sure there's gonna be quite many ICOs which are rated as average having a higher score from the uh, uh, return of the investment perspective. So a higher percentage is something I wanted to say uh, against the good ones or something similar good against the very good ones, right? So these things can happen. Nobody's going to guarantee you uh, the price movement of a specific coin. But if it's average or good from that categories, 
then once again, we're not clear about the return of investment that we're doing into the ICOs we want to participate. And that's why we don't speculate at all. And we're not really sharing here what we are investing in. This is definitely just Scramble's Emotionless ICO Analysis Spreadsheet, where we rate the ICOs and we help you to make better decisions. Going forward, uh, Timebox, right? We just spoke about it. Uh, here's their website, pretty weird one. Uh, having a max bonus of 50% right now on their pre-sale, you will be able to see all their rules and all the token economics details uh, on their website as well. And all the other 59 elements that needs to be considered. Pre-sale is going on. You can already participate. Uh, maximum bonus up to 50%. Things are going on actively for this guys. The first decentralized custody service of digital assets in history. That's what they're looking to do in a nutshell. Beat infrastructure. 4.64 the marketing with the highest score and the smallest one 4.1 for the token economics 34.7 having a total placing them in the good category now from the current one still this point i'm checking these guys are the highest one right till the point we just spoke this guy's 34.7 from the two stars above, these guys are the highest rated so far. Beat right here. Blockchain meets sports. Join us in revol revolutionizing the way the world is doing sports. Three years of development with 40 rockstar developers. Already market leader in Germany with thousands of business customers, millions of members and a strong partner ecosystem. In a nutshell, this is what they're talking about as well as the token sale instant delivery, right? Challenge ends in three days and 49 minutes. We are in a pre-sale period for these guys out there. Going towards Budbo, drugs and healthcare. These guys are around cannabis. Uh, 4.2 marketing, 4.2 background with the high score and 3.7 token economics having a total of 32.3 average rating score. This is their official website. Um, they're currently in the tier number, tier number three, right? Pre-sale sold out, tier number one, tier number two sold out as well. Uh, global cannabis blockchain, supply chain management for the global cannabis industry. This is what they're looking to cover. Now, the next one is going to be Midex financial platform, which is kind of having the highest score out of the ones rated today with 35.9, placing them very, very close to the very good category, right? So what happens? 4.7 team, the highest rating, and the smallest one is 4.2 for the token economics. A financial platform right here is their official website and all the details. The ICO is going on. Uh, they were able basically to uh, collect already 3,662 Ethereum's. Being able to, uh, what's happening here? I mean, uh, 5,700,000 sold tokens out of 75 million tokens sold. Midex is blockchain based financial platform with license exchange approved by Swiss bankers and lawyers. Very, very interesting way. Definitely want to do your research around this and make sure it's something you're going to pay high attention on. AR round, AR advertising basically, which is the augmented reality advertising platform, uh, having a higher score around the background as well as the team 4.3 and the token economics is number four you can see that how many projects are having the smallest score around the token economics because that's the most difficult part uh, to achieve from our opinion it's kind of difficult and lacks a lot of the knowledge for all of these guys to put in the right token economics for the price development and for the future of the token on the exchanges and all the other details from the elements that we're considering. Just take a look at this 
how many things we keep in consideration and we review once the review uh, process is happening for specifically you know, on this category. Right now, the smallest one is, is uh, actually marketing 3.7. Uh, with the highest one around the background and team as I've just mentioned 33 is the total score placing them in the good category right here is their website basically and we're just going to scroll down a little bit as the token sale details are announced right here 27th of February is the pre-sale uh, period when it starts and they're just taking care of ad network and communication platform in augmented reality Going forward, uh, Save Heaven Digital Inheritance, 4.7 problem and solution, the highest score out there from the current one reviewed, from the current one rated. Nobody has 4.7 on the problem and solution so far in today's update, as well as the smallest score is for the background 4.2, as well as 4.2 in the token economics, right? Having a total of 35.1, placing them in the good category, Save Heaven is right here the pre-ico opens on february 24th till uh, march of 10th right so this solution to digital inheritance very very interesting these guys have a lot of the things to share and there is a high usability in the market and necessity for for this type of projects and the last one right here is antel if that's the way to pronounce it decentralized so sure now uh, having the highest score around the team 4.4 and the lowest one around token economics as well as marketing having a total of 32.9 placing them in the average category very close to the good one therefore here's their official website five days and three hours till the pre-ico is going live make sure you are aware about that or it's actually live, I'm sorry, I just misunderstood. It's actually live, five days and three hours till the pre ic is going to be closed, right? So I'm sorry for my mistake. Uh, power to the people, a decentralized social net, right? So it's definitely important to make sure about a decentralized blockchain-based system to solve any kind of issues and problems without going through a centralized government or an organization by rewarding users to spread awareness and help each other in a nutshell that's what they're doing now on the other side for every single thing that we're putting out make sure you do your own research right here in this format is going to be very useful and i'm sure you guys will be able to cover a lot of the things uh, therefore that's kind of all about today's video presentation hopefully this one helps you to look around the ico industry as well for those of you who sent ICOs to be reviewed on our email. They're all added up in the queue, right? So we're trying to work on it. We're trying to, currently we have a queue of more than 20 ICOs in the review process, and we're working on rating them. So kind of the uh, period, it's not really going to happen in, you know, day by day basis. That's why we put out about three videos per week around this ICOs on my channel, right? And uh, we're also talking about market analysis and stuff around the crypto space and all those details around my channel. So feel free to subscribe if you enjoy today's content. Something I forgot to mention is if you want to download a spreadsheet, you can find a first link in the description area to get access to it. And that's where you can uh, basically also save the link, which is something I'm suggesting you for future use. It's updating automatically whenever I'm posting updates on it and you don't have to keep downloading it, right? So that's all you have to do. You can bookmark it, and that's kind of all about. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and hit that like button. Uh, feel free to share your opinions and ideas in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and let's spread the idea around the ICO rating system uh, quality. Thank you, and talk to you soon.